Meanwhile, around the globe, many of those calling for the freedom of the hostages being held by Hamas have been placing posters around their respective cities and towns. And in some cases, footage has emerged of people tearing down those posters as well. Well, a town in Canada is having none of that. So for more, we go to Canada and we welcome Jeremy Levy, the mayor of Hampstead. Mayor, thank you very much for joining us on this day. You're working to make sure that those in Hampstead tearing down posters of missing Israeli citizens will be fined. Tell us more. What was your plan? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So we've seen uh, incidents throughout the world, uh, especially in North America, where um, vandals are destructing and destroying the Israeli hostage posters, and we're having none of it, like you said. Uh, I'm happy to say that council unanimously voted in favor of um, adopting a bylaw last evening where anybody who alters, covers up, or uh, otherwise attempts to destroy any type of these posters will be fined $1,000 and it'll be $2,000 for a repeat offender. That certainly is a major development and a rare one. One doesn't hear about a fine like that very often. The bylaw, I understand, will also see these proceeds from the fines being donated to Israel. What kind of response have you seen to this move? That, that's correct. That's, that part is not actually part of our bylaw. That's a pledge by council. And we have, uh, this move has, has received tremendous uh, positive feedback, not just in our town, but all over the world. We have received uh, thousands of messages, emails from different people in all over North America, cities all over North America, asking how we can help them. Because unfortunately, we haven't seen much action from elected officials at many different levels. And uh, we believe that this, the reason why this resonated with so many people, and i.e. why I'm here with you today, is because this is the first time we're actually seeing action. It's not just words. It's not just that we stand with Israel. It's not just support. This is actual action. And we will have, there's no place for hate and there's no place for anti-Semitism in Hampstead. We are going to be the leaders in, in showing how it's done. And it has been quite something to see the spike in horrific incidents of anti-Semitism in many parts of the world, as you're describing, in Canada as well and in the U.S. as well. Give us a sense, in your particular town, you have a large Jewish population. What kind of reaction are you seeing there specifically to the war as it unfolds here? Yes, that's correct. Just to give some context, Hampstead has the largest concentration of Jews per capita outside of Israel in any municipality. We're somewhere in the vicinity of 85 to 90 percent Jewish. The anti-Semitic acts that we've seen in Montreal are completely unprecedented. We have, in the past few weeks, we have seen a synagogue firebombed. We've seen a Jewish institution firebombed. We have seen Jewish day schools being shot at multiple times. In fact, the same school being shot at uh, twice within 48 hours. So we are really at an inflection point. Uh, it is no longer um, a war between Israel and Hamas. It is now a global uh, good versus evil war. And mark my words, good will prevail. It always has and it always will. Well, certainly everybody is hoping that is true. Jeremy Levy, the mayor of Hampstead, thank you so much and congratulations on your initiative. Thank you very much for being with us on I-24 News. Thank you.